pop his ultimate and say, you know what? This is the moment that I make history. This is the moment they know the name of Catholic Jay Young. I am here. I am free. I am invincible. Welcome to the most prestigious league in Apex Legends. It's the ALASS, otherwise known as the ALASS. The Apex Legends Amateur Spectating Series, which features not players doing two, three, four thousand damage a game like HAL or NRG Suite, but players doing zero damage a game, literally. And finding out how this incredible play can be manifested in such a way as I bring my professional commentary as an esports caster for the last five years to describe these moments that you will not forget, even though you may want to. Let's get into it. So we're gonna do so we're gonna do different differently now. We're gonna get a, a couple of trios. And if you wanna die in Olympus, the, the best place to go is the States. Imagine that being on a billboard for a new, uh, new, uh, new, new house area, right? If you want to die, live here. All right. See, I just want to take someone down and let them know who's who's who, and then we get to it. All right. So we got killed by Sukiyomi. Yeah, boy, he's one shot, bro. The problem is the team I kill typically doesn't have a fair shot because I've downed one of their opponents or one of their teammates. Let's see what we got here. Mirage, no data. And uh, one shot, bro, 122. We've got your boy, 105. Oh, your boy, a lot of work to do. It looks like Tsukiyomi, who got the kill on me, now has another kill to his name. We see a Mirage, too. Like, can this is this Mirage really, like, going to show us stuff? That's that's something right there. Misses a lot, but the PK has been hitting, runs into his own thermite. Not necessarily the plan most mirages or players of that matter like to incorporate into their apex strategy. But oh, he's gonna hit the, he's gonna hit the, he's gonna hit the, uh, the emote, the finisher, and clearly that player just quit. Now, uh, one shot, he's one shot, bro. Really taking some damage here. Gonna have to fight too as the mirage. And is he gonna go into the ultimate? He is. And he's just going to die instantly. Well, you know what? About as effective as I thought Mirage would be. I'm just kidding, Mirage fans. I appreciate you. I appreciate your willingness to play a character that's not good. All right. Moving it on to your boy with the Ryzen. Down by Rain Day. 16 squads still left. Running through a lot of freeway traffic there. And he's going to get taken down. That's the second time. Hate to do it to him, but it's just the way it goes. Tsukiyomi and the rest of the squad gone down. It's Gloomy Shroom on the Caustic, a main meta character right now, as well as another Mirage. So it looks like I'm destined to follow along with Mirage today. Will this change my mind on Mirage? I want this person to change my mind on Mirage because, you know, you couldn't get me to play him if you tried. But he's got the heirloom, and that's a sign that this man spent 200 some dollars on making sure his Mirage was outfitted, that he could have that trophy waving in front of everyone, that he could punch them with a golden statue and he's using a bow check bow. Nice 60s from distance. Can he hit one more? Start to spice it up through the smoke. Not going to try to be Legolas here. Hey, Mirage. He's good at clones. Good at illusions. Not good at cosplaying, apparently. That bow check bow still trying to hit. This looks like me playing with it. Luckily, no one's shooting at him, so he's got a lot of opportunities here. It's tough with the finger uh, seemingly in the way, and there's... That visual getting uncluttered there. It might have had just a visual spectating bug. The Bochik bow. Can it land? This might be the last. Looks like a shield swap will be possible, but he'll be able to get 60 off the shield swap. So essentially, you know, swapping for another white. Not a bad way to do it. The Mirage still trying to hit. One, two, three, four. Knocking at no one's door. Uh, an incredible uh, showcase of what it looks like to be passively doing absolutely uh, not a lot for your team, but it also is a good strategy to stay out of harm's way. And you cannot win without surviving. And he's gonna take that zip line. That should notify the players who are, if they are still there, where he's going. See that dive trail in the sky. Atomic Bacon on a solo adventure. Solo versus trio. No fill, essentially, for Atomic Bacon, the man with the bow, and with the Mirage heirloom. You know, there are a few Mirage mains who can do what I feel necessary uh, to get the job done by themselves. 
uh, Atomic Bacon hearing a jump pad to his left. Uh, just running, hoping no one uh, is going to look at him in his direction. They are not. And it's sometimes a good strategy to run in a straight line and pretend you are a decoy. And that might have been what Atomic Bacon just did. Nice play, actually, to avoid some, some interest from the players jump padding behind him. He's going to be able to sneak here on the backside. What a win this would be for Atomic Bacon if he could pull it off. The only thing that would probably cause a little bit of attention to him would be shooting somebody from afar. And if he's going to do it, he's, he's going to do it. And so now, maybe a couple teams going to start looking at him. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Not sure it's going to work out. <laughs> Just making himself very, very known and soon going to get some shots there from the charge rifle. Looks to be a lifeline. <laughs> that is... That is uh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. You know, if you're if you're trying to play low on the radar, I think the lesson learned there is to not shoot at people relentlessly when you have successfully hidden from them. And if you do shoot, don't miss all of your shots. But this looks like maybe the team to beat here. We've got Catholic, Catholic, Jay Young, Archangel, and VV. Uh, a very pious team coming around. BB just kind of hanging in there. And, uh, well, you know, a lot of interesting uh, dynamics here on this team. Known to be uh, quite the arc star Thermite grenade throwers. Uh, almost going to get hit. Yes, will get hit with the Mag Mag Mad Maggie Ultimate. That's just going to bounce him around, tickle him to the side, maybe for 25 damage. Can use some of the speed boost as well. Try to rotate around the corner. He smells them. He sniffs them. It's the Bloodhound. It's Catholic J. Young. You think he's been born for this? Yes, he has. But you think he's trained for this? No, not really. But he was born for this. Absolutely. And why wouldn't he be born for this? Because he's been not trained for this. So he had to have been born for this to be doing so well. 41 damage. That was the first shot that he hit all game. Maybe I should think about studying some of these characters before I start commentating on them. In fact, none of these players have done any damage all game. And so this is really starting to look like maybe not the squad to beat. Maybe the squad that's going to get beaten. But you never know. You got to give these guys a chance. Archangels, they come back and fly in the sky, right? And, and and do, oh, oh, well, you know, sometimes they hit their heads, they fly so high. That's kind of the Archangel thing. And Catholic, Jay Young, he knows it. He said, I got 41 damage, pal. You going to really mess with me? <laughs> I don't think so. Vivi, though, seemingly just cruising through life. Not a damage taken, not a damage given. And not a given either. You know, these this theme... As much as you want to hate on them, they've been, you know, they've been competitors that the rest of the lobby has 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 not liked. You know, they've, they've said these are the guys that they grief you. You know, they land on you in these final circles. They don't do anything all game. And then they come in and they ruin what would have been a, a, a 10, a 20 bomb from the rest of your team. A 5,000 damage game just because they, they showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. They don't play like some other players. Sometimes they like to do zero damage. Okay. That's a strategy. I've won a game, you can look at it on my channel, doing no damage at all, not even fighting anyone. And that's a viable strategy here in the ALASS. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. 86 damage to the name, almost breaking 100. As the shield gets broken as well. There's nothing wrong with missing your wingman shots. We've all been there, and we're all going to be there again. VB finally getting into some action. Archangel falls. Clearly going to need some help from God to get out of this one. Vivi, though, looking around left, right, and center, saying, this looks like explodey stuff, and it is explodey stuff. She's going to get hit. Will she get hit to be taken down for good? Catholic J. Young doing his best to do that type of prey that only allows his med kit to go into his left arm and maybe needs to put both hands together and say, help me, help me, help me, because that's the only way I see him getting out of this one. He does not have an opportunity to find many angles. It might just be taking his own way out here, jumping off the roof, flying down, saying, do I really have wings? Archangel, give me your blessing. The Catholic Che Young, he decides that 131 damage, that should be enough, damn it, to win a game. And so why, why, why do people keep trying to take me out? I've done the work. I've put in the time. And he's going to have a chance to get these banners back. I don't know why that team didn't consider Catholic Che Young a threat right now. Two squats left. He has made a final two. And Catholic Che Young has only one thing to do. Get his teammates back at that nearest beacon. Pop his ultimate. And say, you know what? This is the moment that I make history. This 
is the moment they know the name of Catholic Jay Young. I am here. I am free. I am invincible. Well, that didn't work out the way he planned. But you can't take away a man's ethic. He charged right in. And I think the world will remember Catholic Jay Young for a very, very long time to come. We've seen Milkman. We've seen Catholic Jay Young. We've had heroes today in the ALASS. And who knows what heroes will be around next time. As always, never give up, never stop gaming. And I'll see you all next time.